video segment about the Delaware Child Psychiatry Access Program. And we have Dr. Mark Bohr with us, who is the consultant for the Delaware Child Psychiatry Access Program, also known as DCPAP. And we're going to be talking about a really important topic today um, around promoting health and wellness. We know this is so important as now we're in uh, May, which is Mental Health Month, but not just in this month, but you know, overall throughout all of our lives, you know, any day of the year. Um, so the first question that I kind of wanted to toss to you, Dr. Borer, is can you talk about how DCPAP um, helps connect folks to community resources, you know, right where they live? The, uh, the DCPAP program uh, helps primary care doctors and their uh, teams to get in touch with a child psychiatrist to get consultation and input so they can help kids right in their own offices with mental health issues um, and getting information on diagnosis, on medications, and on treatment interventions. So that, that can really help. And the other thing is that it uh, allows us then to uh, access through the, through the warm line, through the access line, a behavioral health care coordinator, Mindy Webb, who's able to give additional resources. And she's able to do that by meeting the needs of patients, one particular person at a time, one child at a time, as opposed to other resources that you can find in the community. That's awesome. And, and how would you recommend, you know, if folks wanted to kind of look for resources on their own, what would kind of be um, one way that you'd recommend for them to kind of try and find something that would help them, um, you know, in a different situation? Well, you know, people have tended um, to look either in books or online for, you know, practicing professionals. They've looked for agencies that might um, take their insurance and uh, see their child. And also, they go to their primary care offices. They, they trust their pediatricians, they trust their family practitioners, and they go there looking for help and seeking help. So when those practices are signed up with the DCPAP program, then I and my colleagues can help them to uh, get those resources sooner. And that, that includes kids that may be coming out of a hospital and not have a place to follow up yet, or it could be somebody who's waiting to get into care and they haven't found a prescriber yet, um, a, a psychiatric prescriber. And so we try to meet those needs right in the primary care office. That's awesome. And I know we talk a lot about access and that's a huge piece of the DCPAP program. Um, can you kind of just talk a little bit generally, you know, why it's so important to break down these barriers to healthcare and communities and have that access? Well, we're really finding that if we can start by getting uh, primary care teams and mental health care teams together, we've already bridged a big gap that allows people to get help with both their physical and emotional issues at once in one place nearby or by telemedicine uh, directly. And that opens the door then for them to get help in other ways too. For instance, I know a, a nurse practitioner who's opening a practice now where she's going to have a food pantry uh, for the disadvantaged and she's going to have, um, she's in uh, the same building with a counseling center that uh, deals with helping people get access to care. So, you know, we're trying to bring in more community agencies to be able to help people, and that can go a long way to mental and physical health as well. So we're all trying to, to create one big team. It takes time. 